What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is just feeling super good, feeling super relaxed because we got ourselves a hefty video here because there's been a lot of good songs this month. March was absolutely nuts and I can't wait to name my top five songs that I heard in March and these are based off my reactions, okay? So there's some songs that I missed but again, based off my reactions but man, the heavy hitters came in and dropped their bangers and then some underground bands released songs that were just as good as the heavy hitters. So this month was crazy and I don't want to waste any time. Let's start off with my number five. So let's fuck do it. All right, coming in at number five is the band that is making deathcore exciting again, man. And I feel like you probably know who I'm talking about when I say that. But they're leaving their mark on the deathcore world. And I, they're even bringing metalcore fans into deathcore. Like this album that they dropped is absolutely so good. It's all killer, no filler. And clearly, I'm talking about Brand of Sacrifice. And my favorite track that I heard this month is Altered Eyes. <laughs> All right, this track came out last month, but I heard it this month, and that's why it's at my number five. But holy shit, like this song is so good, man. I'm glad they made a music video for it because I love the Mick Gordon influence to some of the synth work. The breakdown sections were those breakdowns within the breakdowns. Shit like that is so unique. It's so fresh. It's so hard hitting. The anime inspired like theme to their music fits so well because it's relentless, fun, energetic, catchy, and brutal. Let's go to number four now. All right, coming in at number four is a band that I've been listening to since high school. Absolutely love these guys. And not going to lie, I've been kind of falling off them with their new material. But this new single that they literally just dropped is one of the best songs that these guys have released in a long ass time. And it's been on constant repeat. I am not bored of it once. And I absolutely love listening to it. I listen to it every day, man. And that goes to Born of Cyrus, White Nile. <laughs> Holy shit. How can you not headbang to this man? Oh shit, Boo is back at it again. And if you haven't heard this track, then you are missing out. It is bouncy, it is fun, it is groovy, it is moshy. It's just a fun jam. It's just classic metal sounding. It's got six string drop C guitar work. So it just sounds old school a little bit, but it's so good. You gotta go check it out if you haven't heard it yet. Let's go into number three. All right, coming in at number three is a band that I think is extremely underrated. They are so talented. They are unsigned, and that explains why maybe they're not getting the traction that they really deserve. This new song was so good. Even the album art, I think, is incredible. And uh, I'll show you the album art because I don't want to spoil the song yet. But, man, I just had to collaborate with Hardcore Keem on this one, and that is Johnny Booth, Crowd Control. Are you ready? Huh? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit, dude, the double kicks. It is relentless, it's chaotic, it is aggressive, but it's catchy as well. It's got some southern twang at the beginning, but man, the breakdowns go hard and the double kicks from the drumming is relentless. Look at that album artwork. I think that is one of the coolest looking artworks I've ever seen in a long ass time. And if this band was way bigger, I feel like people would be talking about this artwork a lot more than, you know, they actually are. So Johnny Booth, it sounds like old school every time I die, Norma Jean and like Dillinger Escape Plan. So if you're into that like hardcore, like metalcore, then you got to check these guys out because this song was so good, man. Number two is the band that probably surprised me the most this month because I've been getting requests to check out this band for a long ass time and I get requests all the time so it's hard to figure out which one's the actual like you know really special band that deserves attention and I'm so glad I finally checked this band out because holy shit I was mind blown and I'm so glad I got Rachel Reacts to collab with me and that goes to Above Below Melting Amber. Ooh. <laughs> holy Oh, I absolutely love this. Now the clip that I just played is just like a tiny portion of a six minute track. These guys are progressive metalcore, but they actually are proggy. That's huge. You know, so many bands call themselves prog metalcore, but they only write like three minute, four minute tracks. And to be honest, I feel like they use the term prog very loosely. You know, prog is full of experimentation. There's no time length. And I feel like what Above Below is doing is actually being progressive metalcore because it sounds proggy and it sounds metalcore and this is prog metalcore at its essence, man. And I don't want to spoil a song for you, but if you want to hear something, spoiler alert, it's my breakdown of the year. I, I absolutely love it. I didn't even play the clip because you need to experience it if you haven't heard the song yet. It is crushing. It is emotional and passionate and just super intense, man. Uh, before we get on to my number one, let's name off some honorable mentions. Woo! Let's go, man. 
Oh! Hold. Pause. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, man. Got to spin bars, man. Oh, I love that pity. Devastation well! Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> that was sick. Your It's straight up guitar porn. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so nostalgic, Sandy man. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, my number one song of the month goes to a band that I was so impressed by. I was so shocked by it because. Uh, you know, it's groovy and it's fun, but the main vocalist just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. I was so impressed by the vocals of this track, and, you know, not enough people are talking about these guys. And another reason why they're number one for me, because they were just mind-blowingly good. My number one goes to El Chombo Chacaron. <laughs> Holy shit! How low can you go? Chacaron, Chacaron, Chacaron. Oh my god, that's wild. Holy shit, how does he do that, man? It's like literally flawless. He just keeps getting lower and lower. The vocals are outstanding. You know, the structure is a little bit unpredictable. It's absolutely insane. And like, they're shaking up the scene, man. Like, other bands in the scene need to follow suit because these guys are paving the way of what music can be. Oh, man. Goddamn, dude. It's so good. Uh, okay, hold up. Like, this might be a little bit of a cop out, but I also have another number one because this month was crazy, like I keep saying. And my number one is actually to a band that I've had some very, like, uh, divided opinions about, but hey, at least I'm honest and you guys do appreciate that. But hey, my opinions are never like the final result. My opinions change over time. I've told you guys that, but holy crap, with this band, you know, I've listened to their new album five times on my own time and it clicked. Something just clicked where I started listening to the music that they wanted to make instead of having my own expectations of what they should sound like. And holy shit, my opinion has completely changed. And right now, this group is my current album of the year. And I'm talking about Era, man. Time about Era. And if I had to choose my favorite song, it's Gungrave. Oh shit. Holy shit, drummer. This song is so good, but the thing is, like, I don't even really have a favorite song. It's, you know, if I had to choose, it's Gun Great, but I really like Shadow of Tominus, and you know what? I, I really like Electric Twilight and stuff, too, and Remnant's good. Like, there's so many good songs, and the thing is, I love the flow of this album. I think it's one of the best flows I've heard in an album in a long time. Like, tracks one to five, I think, are perfect, you know, from moving the different, like, emotions through these songs, and... But, it, you know, I'm just going to say Gungrave is my favorite because, like, I think that was the song that shocked me the most when I first reacted to it because those breakdowns are, like, unpredictable. The drumming was relentless, super fast, and, like, Jesse's guitar playing is just super intricate, super unique. And I realized the way that he plays his guitar is so different than other guitarists. Like, I've always kind of known that, but in this in this album it's catchy in the way that he uses noises and random harmonics to make melody i don't know it seems so intricate it's so weird and then like era is like a band that now i understand and i'm all for it man i i'm a big fan of the new album and like i said it's my current album of the year and holy shit my opinion I did it like a 180 like this is a band that i liked but now this is a band that i love 
Okay, guys, those are my top five songs of the month. I'm curious to know what your top five is, so comment down below. Spice up my life. I'm curious to know what your top five is because maybe there's a song or two that I missed in March. Like, it's hard to react to all these songs and make videos for them. So let me know the bangers that I missed and some upcoming songs that are, might be coming in April. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But if you also got to this point in the video, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. I seriously do. Thank you so much. Bar on that. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Peace.